Hello movie lovers and welcome to CML Theater Movie Review, home of independent films. Man, this film done made my night. It done made the rest of my weekend and the weekend ain't even here yet. But I'm extremely excited to talk about this film because this film was good from beginning to the end. And let's get into the shit. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. The Black Room. Written and directed by Rolfi Konevsky. Wow, man. <laughs> this movie's off the hook. I have no comment. It's like when you when you see a film as good as this film, you just have no comment. And, and a film like this cannot be spoiled by no way, shape, or form. So I'm not even going to do that. But I'll just give you the dynamic, you know, what the film's about. Okay? Um, Jesus. The film's <laughs> about... <laughs> I gotta get my shit together because I, I just feel blind. But the movie is about this woman named Jennifer and Paul. They end up, well, for one, let's start. The, the, they end up getting a house because I can't talk about the beginning. The beginning was off <laughs> the chain. Lynn Shay is always a show stealer. This woman is one of my favorite actresses. She's a legend to me. I remember seeing her in one of the old Halloween, one of the Halloweens, but I can't remember 100% which one. But I remember her from way back. From one of those Halloween movies, and then she playing to the she playing the awesome um, Insidious films as well. Shout out to Lin Shay, man. That that beginning scene was something. <laughs> that scene was off the chain. But then it's you know you see uh, the chick Jennifer and Paul, they move into this house, and <laughs> it is the, they make you ask questions sometimes because that that damn. That 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 realtor. Yeah, I think she a part of that. <laughs> <laughs> I think she needs some shit. But once they move into this house, they end up not not knowing or knowing the history of the house because the last people that was there, they ended up um, just leaving. I can't tell y'all what actually happened, but they they end up leaving their furniture there. So the house was furnished. So which is I would have asked questions about that because I know they, when they moved in the damn house, they you know whole house is furnished. Everybody left everything. Nobody took nothing. <laughs> so once they get there. Turns out that inside the basement there lurks a incubus, which is a lust demon. Let me tell y'all, this lust demon is off <laughs> the chain. The scenes in this movie, every scene, scene by scene in this film is off the chain. The film is really good from beginning to the end. It's real creepy, That's and so and it is it just nails the point on some real life shit that actually happens to us. And also another movie that does that is It Follows. Yeah. A lot of people didn't catch on to that movie. Neither. But that movie was creepy as fuck. And the, then there was another movie the called The Suffering that was about a lust demon. And, and I mean, all three of these movies just nailed the lust situation 100%. But this film here, The Black Room. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I said, I can't spoil it for y'all. But Don't Fuck in the Woods should have been like this film. Yep. I, That's, I agree with you. That should have been like this film. And this film was actually amazing. I Like I said, I enjoyed it from beginning to the end. Everybody, all the actresses and actors in this film did an amazing job. And once that lust demon started coming out and fucking with everybody <laughs> and just doing shit. And then, um, oh my God, I got to say this guy. I got to say his name, man, because he nailed it. I, I got to give him props because he deserve it. Um, Lucas Hassel. Hassel? Lucas Hassel is a complete show stealer in this film. He played a good ass demon <laughs> in this film. And I like the way he talked. He's how subtle and arrogant and so confident. But the man can stir up some shit. And this is one demon nobody wants to fuck with. Y'all gotta check this movie out. I lied to you not. I really enjoyed this movie. And let's get this movie ready, shall we? I give this movie two thumbs up and a big ass smiley face. Oh, yeah. And I definitely can't forget about the classic Death by Temptation. Yeah, it was, I think it was called Death by Temptation. That was an off the hook movie too about this succubus woman that's a lust demon and she approached this guy, but she was approaching multiple guys and having sex with them. And this movie was just done so perfectly. I enjoyed the shit out of this film. We definitely yes. <laughs> love this film we definitely fans of this film this film is awesome i'm so glad that i bought the film the film is amazing i did not know what i was getting myself into because i really didn't watch the trailer it's like you, you know like when you when you're looking for a film and you come across it and then you see it and you're just like you know what i don't know what this is but the black room 
just sounds creepy and it's a big red ass hand <laughs> on the front cover. Why not? So let's dive in. Man, we went into this film. There were some scenes in this film that had me on the floor. There were some scenes that made me laugh. There were some scenes that was creepy as hell. And it's, this movie is very sexual. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> but it's about a lust demon. You know, it's about an incubus. And usually when you see a succubus, it's always about a, you know, a lust demon, a, a female lust demon. But it's rare that you see a male lust demon yeah, yeah. and in this film this lust demon is 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 really powerful because not only that you know he had he you know it, it influence women to do things but then he also does that to men as well <laughs> which is crazy but y'all gotta see this film from beginning straight to the end even after the credit scene this movie got some surprises. The ending definitely shocked the fuck out of both of us. <laughs> we was extremely mind blown by this movie. This movie is really good. Y'all definitely check this film out. Show your love and support. Definitely support this film. It's really good. Um, you can check this film out right now on Amazon, Voodoo, all your local platform that you can, you know, that you go to to find your movies. The Black Room is definitely a, a grand pick. It got my highest rate, and I highly recommend this film. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> it was really good. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about The Black Room because I told you what I thought about it. I thought it was an instant classic. I enjoyed the hell out of this film. And I know you will too. And to all my movie lovers, keep it scary. I love you.